the solar system is big. Like, really, really big. So big, in fact, that it's really hard to imagine the real scale of everything. You might think that the planets look something like this. Or this. Or this. Let's say that this is our sun. If the sun is the size of a basketball, then this little dot right here is the Earth at about 2.22 millimeters. It's around 109 times smaller across than the sun. Amazing, right? Okay. So now that we have a size comparison, what about distance? How far apart would they be? We've come to the Liberty Center Pond in our beautiful hometown of North Liberty to find out. How far apart do you think the Earth would be from the sun? If I'm the sun here, like I'll hold the sun here, how far away do you think the Earth would be? Uh, in relation to the size of the... Yes. Okay. What would you uh, say? I'm going to hand you the, you the sun, you the Earth, and just try to stand up about how far apart you think they are. So, 93.5 million or something like that? <laughs> Maybe like right here? Ooh, that's a good get. That's the furthest we've had so far. About like that? Maybe. show you about how far it is here. Mm -hmm. Go. Wow. <laughs> that's a long way. <laughs> oh, that's a long ways away, isn't it? <laughs> so that little two millimeter earth is that far from this oh, basketball all. sun. <laughs> pretty impressive yeah, isn't is, it yeah that is really far <laughs> like how do you imagine that without like doing something like this so. so that's the earth but what about everything else we're going to start with the sun right here at the end of the fishing pier and we're going to find all of the planets to see exactly how far we've got to go to do the math we're going to be using an app called scale the planets it's available right now for android in the google play store and it'll be coming to the App Store soon. See the links below. I'll use it to get the sizes and distances. And I'll also use Google Earth for some aerial animations that show the orbits. First up is Mercury. At a tiny 0.85 millimeters, it orbits 10.1 meters away. Its distance is over 10,000 times its diameter. Next, we have Venus, more than twice the size of Mercury at a whopping 2.11 millimeters. It sits at a distance of 18.86 meters away from the sun, almost taking us off the pier. Now we have Earth. Earth would be 2.22 millimeters compared to our basketball-sized sun. It would be orbiting at a distance of 26.09 meters. At just under 100 feet, we can look back at the Sun, Mercury, and Venus and have a pretty good visualization of how they look in relation to each other in the actual sky. We're averaging the orbits to a perfect circular path. The actual orbits are ellipses, or oval-shaped. The actual Earth orbit has what's called an eccentricity, or how much of an oval it is, of 0 0.0167, so it's almost a circle. If you followed our scaled Earth's path all the way around, the orbital circumference would be 163.9 meters, or about 537 feet. Light created here at the Sun takes around 8 minutes to travel this 26 meters. Here is the speed of light. The fastest possible speed in the universe. Don't worry, Earth, your sunshine's coming. Okay, I'm gonna set the sun down right there, because now 
this is Mars. I've got to show you how far it is. Here comes Mars. Here it is. Earth, Venus, can't see Mercury, Sun. It's nearly 40 meters away and 1.18 millimeters in diameter. From Earth to Mars is just about half as far as from Earth to the Sun. But now we've got to go quite a bit farther, like an entire football field farther. Here at the start of the bridge on the opposite end of the pond, we find Jupiter. It's a fairly massive 2.44 centimeters, over 11 times the diameter of Earth. And we're now 135 meters from our basketball sun. Now we've got another nice jump out to Saturn. At 250 meters, we're almost 10 times further from the sun than Earth is. Light from our sun takes about 80 minutes to get here. And if we walked our orbit, we would be completely outside of the pond. But now we've got to go really far. Road trip to the outer gas giants. This is the North Ridge Trail where you can bike or jog all the way from North Liberty down to Coralville, Iowa City. Here is where it crosses Cherry Street. We are half a kilometer from where we started. Uranus is not quite a centimeter and its orbit would go for 3.15 kilometers. Let's go to Neptune. Most of our Neptune orbit took us through neighborhoods and a few cornfields, but it also runs around the edge of Quail Ridge Park right here. We're now 784 meters from our basketball-sized sun at the end of the fishing pier back at the pond. Neptune is just 8.6 millimeters wide, but its orbit is 4.9 kilometers or over three miles around. Sunlight takes over four hours to travel this half mile to get to us. But from here, that basketball is just a small spot of light in our sky. We're too far to actually see it from here, but just try to imagine someone holding a basketball half a mile away. Picture how big that ball would appear in your field of vision. And that's what the sun would look like. So there you go, a scaled visualization of the solar system mapped onto a city setting to give you an idea of the relative size and distances between the planets. If you want to do this in your own neighborhood, it's really easy using Scaled the Planets. You can pick one of the preset sizes, type your own, or set your scale on the map. It's a lot of fun. If you like this video, please share it. Uh, click like below, visit some of our links below to see some of our other apps. And uh, don't forget that the solar system is huge, the universe is amazing, and life is fun, so learn more about it.